What's going on shady people shady penguin here welcoming you to the brand new let's play of the channel a Pokemon Y combo lock and before we get started if you can please show some shady love to that like button right below this video seriously Let's try to crush something crazy Let's try to crush like 5,000 likes for this part because I'm gonna be explaining exactly what a combo lock is And if you're excited, I'm, I'm so excited to be doing this. You have no idea. I gotta be honest I gotta be honest. There's gonna be Wi-Fi battles while I'm gone uh, at PAX Prime Of course there's gonna be Wi-Fi battles and hopefully I get some road to rank done for you guys, but Really have to be honest, I am loving LPs. I am absolutely loving this new ground of LPs that I, I didn't start with on my channel. Well, I started with, but then I stopped, and I haven't done them in whatever. So, with Storm Silver being so much fun and so exciting, I really wanted to start another LP, and I've really wanted to play through 6th Gen for such a long time now. So, here we go. We're going to do it. And while this whole thing of a jig just goes on, you guys can watch that and listen to me if you want to. But I'm going to be explaining exactly what a combo lock is. Now, if you know what a Nuzlocke is, this is just a Nuzlocke variant, or more or less a combination. So, what we're going to have are the standard Nuzlocke rules. There are three Nuzlocke rules, in case you do not know. All the rules to the combo lock will be in the description below, but the Nuzlocke rules go as, as follow. First rule is, you must nickname every Pokemon you catch. Every Pokemon you get, you must nickname. The second rule is, uh, you can only, actually, hold on, let me stop there. A Pokemon, when it faints, that Pokemon is considered dead and cannot be used for the rest of the playthrough. The third rule of a standard Nuzlocke is you have to catch the first encounter in every route and no nothing else. Now, that's where a combo lock comes in. See, and I encourage everyone, by the way, I encourage everyone to try a combo lock. Do it. What's cool about a combo lock is it's basically a combination of other playthrough styles. So, there's, there are playthrough styles such as Nuzlocks, Wedlocks, Randomizers, uh, Egg Locks, um, All-Star Runs, and who knows what else? I'm really not sure. There, there, there's so many different locks out there, and it's so cool to experiment. So what I decided to do, a combo lock is essentially going to take that third rule that we mentioned about encountering the first Pokemon in each route and changing it a little bit. What we're going to do is, just like in Storm Silver, how we used our die to, uh, oh, you guys heard that, how we used our die to pick which egg we would get. If you did not watch our Storm Silver egg lock playthrough, it's still going on. It's not over. It's not stopping. We're still in, uh, we're, I'm not going to spoil where we are, but we're somewhere. So... We used our die in that to roll and see what egg we would get. Now, what I'm going to do, and I actually have this now, which is nice. It's in a little canister. Uh, and you guys will be able to see the die rolls from now on. Which I, in this, I really needed you guys to see them. So, basically, this is what the die rolls are going to consist of. When you walk into a new area, you must roll a die. Now, I'm going to do... Now, this is probably going to be really noisy. I'm going to test it. It's just not that bad. That's like Yahtzee. So, I'll just hold it away from the mic. And then I'll show you guys what the roll is. You'll be able to see it every time. And I'll show you that it acts... Oh, well, that didn't roll. That could have just been coincidence. Let's see. There we go. That's a three. So it does change. Uh, you guys will be able to see every die roll thanks to this little canister. And when you get to a new route, you roll a die. A one, two, or three means that you will be catching a Pokemon in that area. You'll be catching a Pokemon in that area. And what that number dictates is which encounter. So normally it's your first encounter, but if you roll a two, it's going to be your second encounter in the grass. If you roll a three, it will be your third encounter. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. If you roll a 4 or a 5, you will be Wonder Trading. That's right, Wonder Trading that Pokemon away. You go catch your first encounter, and you Wonder Trade it. What's going to happen when we get to that point, when you Wonder Trade a Pokemon, you can roll a die again. And you'll have to see how many times you have to Wonder Trade that Pokemon. I could elongate that process, but it's going to be really funny to see if you get something really good, or you keep getting garbage, 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 and then your last trade, you get something amazing. So I figured that would be really, really cool to do that. You don't have to do that. And then for a six, if you roll a six, I will have the opportunity, or if you do combo lock, I will be able to go into my Poke Bank and choose a level five all-star. Now, an all-star for me is gonna be mascot Pokemon. So, Delibird, of course. You have Ghastly for Nappy. You have Scraggy for uh, Hoodlum Scrafty. Uh, Eevee for S uh, for Mo for Espeon. We have Azuril for Blizzus for Num Nexus, and so on and so forth. Entei for Sacred Fire Negro, whatever. Any Poketubers that I can think of that I wanna throw in there, I'm gonna throw in there. The only thing about choosing level six is that they're all gonna be level five. And I don't have a rare candy cheat, I don't have anything like that, so I'm not going to go ahead and reproduce another one and level it up in black and white. Although I could do that, I'm probably not going to. Feel free to do that if you want to. But I figure, if you're getting an all-star Pokemon, you gotta get some little, some little trinket. You're gonna be level 6. So if it's late game and you get, and you gotta get an all-star, you're just gonna have to grind it up a little bit, which is the way the world works. So today, we're gonna start episode 1, and we're gonna hit start right now. So, I'm excited, I'm so excited. I hope all of that is clear. It's all about the die. Just like Storm Silver, we're choosing our eggs. So we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see. I'm so excited to play through this game. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Ah! <clears throat> he looks pretty cool. Looks suave. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am Augustine Sycamore, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. <laughs> Look at that. Mm! 
This world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, and others yet swim deep in the oceans. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Let's get started with some quick questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Now, I'm going to be using this uh, cartridge for a future series, so I'm going to be naming myself Shady. I apologize if you wanted me to name myself something else. I'm not sure what else you expect, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I have brown hair. I'm going to go ahead and pick the blonde kid because I the, the other two characters both have dark hair, and I want to be the blonde kid, I guess. Maybe I should pick, you know what, hold on. Can we go back? Can we go back? We can't. All right, we're going to be blonde. We're going to be blonde. Nothing we could do. I, I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe I should be the typical... Typical brunette boy with brown hair, man, boy soul. But we're going to be blonde now, which is kind of cool because I didn't do that originally. So I went with blonde hair. That's fun. So did you get the right? Shady. Can I, well, if I hit no. Yes. Okay, I can. Ha, huh? never mind. Surprise. We're going to have brown hair now. I'm just going to choose standard. I'm going to be run of the mill. Run of the mill. Typical Caucasian fella. So let's go ahead and name ourselves Shady. Wasting some time already. Wasting. Not even wasting. I'm going to be taking my sweet, sweet time with this playthrough. Honestly, I'm going to be taking my sweet time. I'm going to enjoy every single second of it. So, Shady, is it? Is, is it? That's right. Yes, that is right. That is definitely right. Shady. Champion, what a fantastic name. That's right, he's French. I should have given him a French accent. Shady, your adventure begins now. Go and meet many Pokemon and people and fill life with rich experiences. Now, let's go visit the world of Pokemon. So, should have given him a French accent. He's not going to have one at all throughout this game now. By the way, something fun you want to do in this series... If you slow down the YouTube, I just, I literally just found this out for recording. If you slow down the YouTube videos, especially my videos, because I talk, I talk so fast, it sounds hilarious. It sounds hilarious. So you can hit the settings button anytime you want and watch the video in slow motion for a little while. Half speed is the best speed. But uh, we're going to go, okay, we're just going to get attacked by a, a pit of. Okay, straight up. Just bop me. It's fine. Let's get out of bed. Let's get out of bed. Uh, let's see. What do we got going on? We got a nice Wii U here. It's a Wii U. Even the gamepad has a screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, is there anything in our PC? I can't remember if there's anything in our PC. Can we sit down in this chair? No, we can't. Yes, we can. Shady checked the PC his dad gave him. Rule number one, the X button opens the menu. Adventure rule number two, record your progress with save. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate that $5,000 laptop just to tell me two basic things. Let's look in the mirror, and let's go ahead and change our clothes. Now we're ready. Look at this. We're ready for adventuring. We are ready for adventuring. And changed out of his pajamas. Yeah, we're done with our pajamas. Now, is there anything over here? I really don't think so. I don't think they put anything really in our room this time around. I don't think there is. So let's go ahead and see. Boop! Let's see what's going. Let's see what's going down. Morning, Shady. You sure slept well. All rested up from the move. It's about time you got going. Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? All right, let's say hello to the neighbors. I'm so pumped to say hello to the neighbors. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. Just say hello to random people as soon as I move in. Bam! Who do we got out here? Oh, look at that door. We got two chicks. Shawty! One on the left looks like Sarah a little bit. Blonde hair. Typical. Typical. Typical! I wish I could name her Sarah. I would. I would do it. Welcome to Vanville Town. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome to Vanville Town. My name's Servina. I'm your neighbor. Hi, Shauna. Great to meet you. Guess what? We've come to get you. The esteemed Professor Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. I was told he has a request for five kids, including us. But I'm a little surprised he knows who you are. You did just move to Vanderbilt, after all. We'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're gonna get a Pokemon. Come on, hurry, let's go. So she sounds like that for whatever reason. There is ridiculous background noise right now. I don't know what someone's doing out there. Oh my goodness. I apologize for that. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's just work our way through. I don't think there's anything to do in this first town. There really isn't. We're just going to... We want to get our starter. Now, I didn't mention this, but the Wonder Lock... Now, you know that Nuzlocks normally don't start. They don't start until you have Pokeballs. However, however, because this is a combo lock and you're free to choose whatever you want to do... I, uh, I'm gonna say that the, 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 the Wonder Lock, the Combo Lock, starts now. It starts now, except the Whiting Out rule. The Whiting Out rule will not start until we get Pokeball, so we can have more than one Pokemon. However, when we get to choose our starter, we're gonna have to use this little guy right here. Yeah, we are! Alright. <clears throat> this is the meeting place, Shady. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Shady. 
Which, 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 who's speaking right now? Is it, I think it's the fat one. Oh, wow. Tana's description was spot on. So, Shady, this is Tierno. He's got some serious dance moves, and this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on his test, but he's a little shy. Oh, all right. Nice to meet you. You know, I'd feel like we're a closer crew if we call each other by nicknames. Can I call you S. Meister? Her voice was like, I can't even, I can't remember. What? No way. He's the last for sure. What do you think, Trevor? I can't, these colors are not working. What? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Shauna, you shouldn't put people out of a spot like this. Well, how about something low key? Maybe something like Big S. Low key, Big S, that doesn't make sense. Why don't you decide what we should call you? I'm picking my own. You can call me, you can call me, Mr. You think you're gonna call me a nickname? Oh no. You're calling me formal by my legal name, Mr. Penguin. Mr. Penguin. Shady, Mr. Penguin. <laughs> See how that works out. You want us to call you Mr. Penguin? Yup, I really do. Okay, Mr. Penguin fits you perfectly. I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see the Pokemon now? I wanna meet my new partner soon. I know, right? It was such a cool feeling when Trevs and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. I did stop the voices right there because my voice is starting to die. And you know what? We, we Now you guys had a touch of it. All right, so what we're gonna do to choose our Pokemon, the very first uh, very first die roll in our combo lock. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. And now we're gonna show you guys it's a five! A five means we're gonna be wonder trading our starter off. So at this point, it doesn't matter which one we choose. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Froakie. I'm gonna give someone a non-competitive Froakie on the internet. That's just fantastic. Just give him that little thing. So we did get a five. So I don't think we can wonder trade right away. I'm gonna go ahead and say we can't wonder trade right away. Can we give we're gonna give you a game? Because I know I'm gonna be wonder trading this Pokemon. I'm gonna nickname it Keep It. Hold on, that's not how you spell it. Keep it shady. Explanation point. That's what we're gonna do. Anytime we're gonna wonder trade a Pokemon, I'm gonna wonder trade it, keep it shady, and maybe someone will grab it. That would be really, really cool. So, you decided on the nickname Keep It Shady. Yes. Okay, my partner is Fennekin. Wow, we go together. Great. The two of us are just way, yay, yay, too cute. Nice to meet you, Chespin. I'm Serena. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Hard to be, but I have something for you for the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon at a much deeper level. Pokedex, off the bat. Off the bat. That's great. Um, so you see, the Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you collect. The reason you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put it another way, it's, as import it's an important mission for the professor. I'm sure of it. Oh, lighten up, Trez. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, Mr. Penguin? I love it. Please take this with you, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mom. Oh, trying to hit on my mom early game. I see you, Sycamore. I see you, Sycamore. I see you, Sycamore. All right, we're done with our end for the professor. I guess Trez and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trez. I have to do that when I... Ah. I have to, otherwise it hurts my throat too much. In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. But you need to give that letter to your mom before you go. Alright, well let's just see right now. And this would really stink. We're going to Wonder Trade before the Wi-Fi battle, if possible. And we could get complete garbage. We could really get complete garbage. So this first episode is going to start out super interesting. Connecting to the internet, please wait a moment. I guess we have to, the data necessary for your internet connection has been obtained. Would you like to save the game? Sure, why not? Only you can prevent lost save data. I think that's what Nappy says. I don't know, I can't remember. So, what we're gonna do is first off, oh, David's online, David. Uh, let's see if we can wonder trade just yet. Wonder trade. You need two or more Pokemon to wonder trade. So, we will not be wonder trading our starter off just yet. However, once we catch a second Pokemon, I will still have to wonder trade my starter Pokemon off. You're gonna be my po my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut. Okay, little Finnegan, it's our first battle. Let's win with it in style. Let's do it. All right, so let's see. <laughs> I said I was excited to record this. I'm challenged by Pokemon trainer Shauna sends out Fennekin. All right, all right, all right. 
Now remember, in your own combo locks, you can do whatever you want. You combine Nuzlocke variants. Let's play variants. Just do it up. Have fun. I'm all about that life. Keep it shady has the ember. Not has the ember. He's getting smacked by an ember. Finnegan's gonna get... It's a crit! It's a crit right away! I can't believe that. So we're gonna pop a bubble right in Fennekin's face. And that does like just as much as the ember. Are you fluffy kidding me right meow? Oh my goodness. Now Finnegan's gonna strategize and go for the tail whip. Nice and strategize. And uh... Let's see. Oh, we got our own crit, didn't we? First battle of the episode, and we're just uh, we're just full of crits. We're just full of crits today, I believe. We're just we're just sitting in them. We're gonna level up, so we're not giving away level five Froakie anymore. We're giving away level six Froakie. You're telling me now? It's gonna be extremely interesting because uh, going ahead and water trading and getting our gosh darn all star Pokemon. I wonder who I'm gonna choose first. And that's the other thing. We're also gonna roll a die when we go for our all star Pokemon. Yep. Still gotta be random. Still gotta be random. Although we will get to choose which all-star Pokemon go in there. So that's interesting. Yes, that does mean that for Entei or other Pokemon like that, uh, perhaps they won't be level 5. They will be the minimum level you can meet them in, 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 in a certain game, probably in the original game. So, what did you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Wait one second. Shady, is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your very own Pokemon? Lucky you! How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now, too. Congratulations! Huh? A letter from me? It says it's from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Yeah, it is! I guarantee you it's a love letter! Hitting on my mom! That's not cool! Wow, what lovely handwriting. Hmm, what do we have here? A request. Oh, I see! Shady! We've barely unpacked and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Froki ready for your journey. Does it go upstairs? Or are you just going upstairs? Moms usually take care of things. They usually just, they know what they're doing. Here you are, Shady. I even packed a change of clothes. My, what an unexpected turn of events. It's just like a sudden last burst of speed from a racer in a Rhyhorn race. You made my, you made friends. You met your Pokemon. And now you get to take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this. Town map. We got the map. I like how in this game you kind of get handed everything in the beginning. I kind of actually like that. Because, yes, I do know how to use a town map. Thank you very much, Mom. You're calling me stupid. You're insulting my intelligence. I don't appreciate that whatsoever. Yeah, I know how to select items. You know, yeah, you just want, you want to see Sycamore. You want to see Professor. You're all about this guy. Just seeing him and whatever he's doing. And it's not cool. But Mom's going to just start hanging out with some dude. Can't even handle it just because dad's away for a little while. I don't even know where dad is in this game. <clears throat> <laughs> what a card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send off for your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born, after all. Good luck, Shady. Go for broke, and don't worry. You'll have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. What a supportive mother just kicking her child out of the house like that. She's seriously the best. The absolute best. So you guys know that my Let's Plays, I like to keep around 20, 25 minutes at most. But I also want to actually accomplish a little bit more in this episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down. And I got, you have an apron on. Are you going to give me a potion? Give me, give me, hey, hey. Here, this potion is for you. Feel free to use it. Yes. We got ourselves a free potion. That's fun. Potions can heal Pokemon wherever and whenever. I really would like to uh, at least catch our next Pokemon. What does this guy want? Hey, Pokemon Trainer, if you set foot in the tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pop out. But you'll be fine because your Pokemon partner will battle for you. Okay, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it, Tom. Boom. Pidgey. 20 bucks. Pidgey. Pidgey. Every time, it's a Pidgey. Fun fact. Every single time, it's a Pidgey. So keep it shady. The Froakie is going to go for Bubble again. And we're going to keep battle animations on, of course. Uh, this will probably be the Let's Play that brings us... Well, not brings us up to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, because we'll have a little more. We'll probably finish this one. Eh, actually, it might. Yeah, it might. This might be the last playthrough. We'll have two Gen 6 playthroughs back-to-back. -back. That's exciting. And if you guys want me to do a combo lock for uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, just let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. By the way, we are having a question of the day question of the day so I'm gonna say for this question of the day it's episode number one um what is I nicknamed myself mr. penguin 
what nickname did you choose for yourself when you played through Pokemon X and Y? And if you haven't played through Pokemon X or Y yet, which nickname would you choose for these trainers to call you? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm Mr. Penguin. So Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching a Pokemon and battling. Well, mom and dad may be good, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. We're gonna learn how to catch a Pokemon like we don't already know. Doesn't, doesn't she know who I am? Doesn't she know who I am? Look at this, guys. Just so you know, this is my uh, screen cleaner. It has Fennekin, Chespin, and Folky on it, and I clean my screens with it. And right now, since I, I, I'm not controlling the bottom screen, I can clean it. And I have a little bit of a, not, I don't know if serious, I just, I like to keep it clean, you know? Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. I'm really excited to see what we get for the Wonder Trade. I'm kind of hoping we actually catch a Pokemon in this route and keep it. She has 50 Pokeballs. She's a spoiled brat. I never noticed that. Why does he have 50 Pokeballs? Her parents must be so nice. My dad is a deadbeat father. As it doesn't, we don't even know where he is. My mom is busy trying to hook up with the professor. And this chick has 50 Pokeballs. I'm done. I'm done. And that is some complete garbage. That is some complete garbage. Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball? Shono, what do you think where do you what do you think your Fennekin is inside of right now? Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with the two of you. Okay, so she may be spoiled, but she's a generous spoiled brat. That's kind of exciting. Shady put the Pokeballs in the pocket. Pokeballs, do you think I catch a Pokemon with them too? Sure, you sure. You can catch the Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it, and then we'll become friends. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger, too. Good luck! That was the most broken aspect of the game. I wonder if they're going to keep that Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Uh, when you catch... Oh, hold on! Hold on, this this is starting. So we're going to we're gonna roll right now. I apologize that I did a Caterpie. I'm going to roll right now. And we're going to see what it is. It's a six! Ho-ho! <laughs> so we already get to get an all-star Pokemon on our team. As long as we catch this thing. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's pound. Let's pound. Let's pound. Alright. Alright, I'm throwing a Pokeball at it right now. I'm throwing a Pokeball at it right now. I'm not risking a crit. You think I'm risking a crit? I'm so glad I don't gotta keep this garbage. I'm so glad I don't... Oh, we get 10 Pokeballs to start out. I'm so glad I don't have to keep this garbage Pokemon Caterpie. I really am. I'm, I'm psyched. I'm really psyched. So we got it, and we're gonna nickname it because we're gonna be well. We're gonna be boxing this. It's gonna be going in our um, box. So nickname doesn't matter too much. We're just gonna we're just gonna nickname him All Star because he is gonna be an All Star token. I couldn't name him A S T, but Ast just sounds weird. So we're gonna name you All Star Caterpie. <coughs> its feet have suction cups designed to stick to any surface. It tenaciously climbs trees for for to forage. Give the nickname a Caterpie. Give the Caterpie a nickname. English is not it's everything that I want. All-Star. We're just going to call you All-Star. Oh my goodness, this background noise. I really hope my mic isn't picking it up that much. I really do. I can't record anymore. It's not my busiest day. It's fine. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to end this episode with the Wonder Trade. We're not going to get our All-Star. You guys are going to see next time when we pick our All-Star. So you guys are going to have to come back. You're going to have to come back to see what we get. So we're going to Wonder Trade this Froakie right away. Do I want to start a Wonder Trade? I'm going to tweet out right now. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're just going to make it completely random. We're going to Wonder Trade this Froakie away. We're going to Wonder Trade this Froakie away. Now, I think that there is a certain point... We can't access the Pokemon Bank till a certain point, at least I think. So we're finding a partner. We found Paul from Madrid, Spain. What are you giving me? We have a Spanish Pokemon coming our way. What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Come on, let's make our first Pokemon something good. Let's see what it is. Come on, make it, make it a six gen. Make it a six gen, please, please, please. Make it like a Trevenant. What? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, we have to roll a die. Hold on, hold on. This, we might not be keeping this as much as I kind of want to because this thing's probably competitive. Our roll is a three. So we have to trade this. We have to trade this two more times. Let's just look at it really quick. I'm really curious. Let's see how, if you're competitive. We have a positive special attack nature. You have Torrent, so you don't... Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, okay. All right, so let's trade you off. Let's trade you off. Right now. He just went plus like six levels. That's all that guy got to do. So let's go ahead and go for another Wonder Trade. I know this is a little tedious, but it, I feel like it's... This let's play, like I said, I want to take my time with it. I want it to be more about, like... More about the combo lock. 
Because, I mean, I know that I know that 6th Gen's been played a lot, especially recently, a lot of people have been playing 6th Gen. But I want to play it, and I want to play it in a unique way. So here we go, combo lock style. Let's see. Let's see. We got to trade it one more time after this. So what we get now, don't even matter. It don't even matter. I think what I'm going to do is uh, for one or trading, just so it doesn't take as long, three is the max. Oh, we're trading someone from Canada. Three is the max that we can trade. So, for example, if you roll a one, two, or three, that's self-dictated. You either trade it one times, two times, or three times. If you roll a four, five, or six, it resets. So, four equals one, five equals two, and six equals three. So, just like that, as if you split the die in half. So, that should make that should make enough sense to you guys, right? Cool. Awesome. So, we got a ducklet. All right, but we're trading you away. We are trading you away. So, we got two water types. To start out, what is this? What is this? What is this? Thirstyepisode.net? Is that what this is? The thirst is real! The thirst is real. So let's go ahead and go for one more wonder trade. One more wonder trade that we're going to trade this thing away. And next episode, we're going to have an all-star Pokemon on our team. Which is extremely exciting. Extremely exciting. Searching for a trade partner. Please wait a moment. And that's if I can access Pokebank right away. I'm going to have to research that a little bit. Something tells me that I have to wait. And if I do, I will most likely re-roll. And we won't go with a 6 for our first Pokemon, unfortunately. Or, 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 or. Oh, we got someone from France. Bonjour. Let's see what you're giving me. Come on, Ed. Edward. Ed. Edward. 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 Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Something good. Something good. Something good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Something good. Something good. Oh, yes! Yes! That's great! That's awesome! That's fantastic! I'm happy with that. Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. Pyronil. Pyronil. That's probably its original name. In French. Pyronil. Pyronie. I wish that it would stay that way, but I think it's going to be a powerful level 1. It is. It is going to be a powerful level 1. With Ember, it's got Flame Body and String Shot. So no uh, egg moves. Which is unfortunate, but uh, it's French. So, in between episodes, I will most likely grind this thing up. Uh, we will have grinding montages, of course. I'll grind this up. And uh, we're going to go ahead. We'll get an all-star next episode, hopefully. If not, like I said, we'll, we'll figure that out in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you're hyped for this combo lock, make sure you show some shady love to that like button right below this video. Leave a comment down below answering the question of the day. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shady.